cockroaches, man. They're just little divas. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's hot as heck outside. I'm here, oh gosh. Wait, now I'm here with a cockroach that will not fly away. No escaping, guys. <sighs> Honestly, this video is a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be because these guys are just getting an F for participation but that's okay, because they get an A for cuteness. What do you think? Today, we're here to talk about probably my weirdest pet, and that is my pet cockroaches. <laughs> now, these guys get a lot of reactions from people. That's why I'm wearing my shirt today that says, don't hurt my feelings, because hopefully no one will hurt my feelings and comment hateful things on this video, such as they want to step on my adorable little baby pets or cause them harm because that hurts my feelings. Are you escaping? Today, I want to talk about some of the most commonly asked questions that I get about my pet cockroaches. So without any further ado, I think we should just, they're making a lot of noise back there. I think we should just jump in. I've collected some questions from my different social medias. I have TikTok, YouTube, which is here, Instagram, I think that's actually it. You can always ask me any questions about my pets there and I'll be happy to answer them. But I thought for my little cockroaches, I would just go ahead and give you a video about the topic since they get a lot of it reaction on different social media platforms, especially TikTok. And so I wanted to educate and share a little bit, bit of information about these cool, awesome little dudes. First question I often get is what type of cockroaches do I have? And now this is Cosmo. He is the typical Madagascar hissing cockroach. He's the most docile. They're very chill and calm. They do hiss when you touch them. Can you hear? But it's just a sound made using their plates on their exoskeleton. So they're not actually hissing like from their mouth, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, these guys are generally pretty calm. So this is one species that I keep. The next species that I keep is the death head roach. I only have a couple of these right now. I got them as mature males about a year ago because I just really wanted some with the cool pattern. I hope you can see it's kind of like a, it looks like a, a skull. These guys are flighty and they can fly. So that may be a downside, but I kind of think it's an upside because it's kind of funny and cool because they fly and um, sometimes they fly and land on my face. But I keep these. Little face, show your face. I also keep the Halloween hissing cockroaches. These ones are called Halloween roaches because they are a lot more orange and black than the typical hissing cockroach. They're actually really beautiful, right? Looks like that. And I have one more species. I don't think I'm gonna find them because they are very burrowed under the ground, but that is the question mark cockroach. And they are actually so beautiful. They're black with like white question marks on them. Minor juveniles, so they don't have that pattern yet. So there's not really anything for me to show you. And they're buried under the ground. They just look like little black roaches right now. But soon they'll be beautiful and that will be exciting. So that covers question number one. What kind of roaches do I keep? And the next question I get a lot is what do they eat? Now, an awesome thing about keeping pet cockroaches is that they are so easy to feed. They'll eat really anything. And I like to give them a very mixed up and varied diet. So they'll get some things like I just went out and got some nice fresh cut cantaloupe, which partially is for me, but they will also get a nice chunk of that. I like to give them fresh fruits and vegetables, which they love. And then we mix it up with some other high protein things, like even some cat food from my cat. She eats high quality cat food. So that works really well for them. Also, I've learned recently that they love pack attack, which is actually a food meant for Pac-Man frogs, um, but it's a high protein food made for Pac-Man frogs and the cockroaches love it. So you can give them a varied diet. If a vegetable that you have in your fridge goes bad, then you just give it to them and they'll eat it right up and enjoy it. So that's really nice. It's like having your own little 
garbage disposal so your stuff doesn't go to waste. So that's great. So they eat a varied diet. You don't have to feed them anything live, which is great. All my other bugs, I think I have to feed them live food. So these guys are just a treat because I can just feed them really anything and they are down for it. I also cohab them with isopods and so they all just kind of eat up anything. They're all never, I never find anything moldy in there because they always clean it up. Which brings me to the next question. Are they dirty or gross? And the answer is a big, big no. They are my probably my cleanest animals in my collection. They're so clean. If you put anything in there, they will get rid of it. No mold will show up, nothing. They are very clean and they groom themselves constantly especially after I hold them, if I put them back, they start grooving themselves. So they think I'm gross. So <laughs> I am sweaty right now. But. So they're very clean. They're always grooming themselves and they keep their habitat in really good condition. So that's great. Like I never have any weird smells, nothing. They're very clean. And right now they're living in just a five and a half gallon, but they will soon. My plan is to move them to like a cockroach castle. I wanna have like a really nice cool enclosure for them because I think they're just so great and pretty. So the next question I get a lot is, do they bite? Well, anything with a mouth can bite, but I have never been bitten by these guys. I suppose their mouths are big enough that they could maybe give a little itty bitty pinch if they wanted to, but I've never experienced that and I handle them pretty boldly and pick them up all the time and I've never had any issues. So um, yeah, no, I would say no, not really, they don't bite. Um, they're great for handling. If you want a pet bug that you can handle, I think roaches are excellent. You can handle them, they can really do nothing bad to you, they have nothing that can harm you, and overall they're just awesome critters, so no, the no, no harmfulness, only good, t only good vibes with these guys. And these guys cannot fly, a lot of people ask me if they can fly, these guys cannot fly, death head roaches can fly, so, but not well, they can't like take laps around your house, but they can like like when I bought them from the breeder, she said they can like gracefully fall to the ground. And I agree with that. Like they can do like a little graceful flap, like kind of like a chicken, like a chicken. Yeah, like they can gracefully make their way to the ground. But I wouldn't call it like fly flying. Like they're not gonna be flying around your house. And you're gonna be trying to catch them. No, that won't happen. Another question I get asked a lot is, can they escape and infiltrate your home? Not infiltrate. Um, What's the word? Oh my god, the heat is getting to my brain. Exterminate, investigate, infiltrate, infest, infest your home. And for the most part, the answer is gonna be no. Um, most of our homes do not have the most ideal conditions for these guys to breed in our own homes. So it's not likely that they would escape and take over your house. Could it happen? maybe will it happen no I'm gonna say no I'm gonna say no it won't happen I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no and um, as far as housing I can show you kind of the house that these guys live in you just need a tank this is a five and a half gallon a good amount of substrate good places to hide they do love to hide so you want to make sure that you have plenty of places to hide a water dish because everything needs a water dish though I keep it quite shallow because I noticed that the isopods in here tend to go into the water dish and drown to death so I don't fill it up too high even though I still occasionally have some isopod casualties because they just can't figure out how to not drown in the water dish and I really never recommend using sponges in any water dish ever because they are bacteria breeding grounds and these are clean little buggers so they do not want bacteria in their home they just don't I wonder if I can show you some of the isopods in here here you can see some of the dairy cow isopods and one of the zebra isopods that are living with the roaches I think that answers the main questions that I get about my pet roaches I really just want to shed some light on these awesome creatures because I think they're great there's really no downside to keeping these other than sometimes they're hissing at each other late at night, but it's not that loud. 
but there's really no downside to keeping pet roaches. They're easy to handle, easy to feed, easy to keep, easy to take care of, very hardy. If you kill them, I don't know what you did. Um, they're really hard to kill. They're really easy to keep alive. They're docile and I think they're just great overall animals and I just love them. They're also very inexpensive to get. So in my idea, that checks off all the boxes when you're looking for a good pet. I mean, what other qualities could you look for? I mean, and they're cute, right? So anyways, I hope this answered some of the main questions about my pet roaches. I really appreciate that you guys watched this video because I really just want to show that these guys deserve more love and that don't hurt their feelings because saying that you want to squish them and step on them and stuff is not nice because look how cute they are. They just have little faces and they just want to hang out. But yeah, this was kind of a quick video. I just wanted to jump on, show some of my super cute little babies. I think that's all. So please subscribe if you would like. It really helps me out with this channel and like the video if you can. I post a lot of content with these little guys on my TikTok. If you want to follow me over there, you can see a lot of snippets of these guys in their daily life, just being little roaches and climbing in my hair and stuff. But yeah, I think that's really all I wanted to say. Do you have anything you want to say? Do you want to say anything? Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you again.